Isa sa mga hamong kinakaharap ng bansa, tungo sa pag-umlad ay ang mataas na presyo ng kuryente. Para matugunan yan, inilunsad ng San Miguel Corporation ang tinatawag na Battery Energy Storage System o Best Network. Paano nga ba ito makatulong sa pagpapababa ng presyo ng kuryente sa bansa? this battery energy storage system. This technology is carving a distinct path towards a more energy secure and sustainable future for the country. Indeed, it promises great rewards for our country. Not only will we be able to generate sufficient, reliable, and clean energy, leading to more affordability of energy, and of course, generate jobs for our people, green jobs in the process, itong battery energy storage system na magkaroon ng stability yung ating grid. Kasi bukod sa pwede silang maging parang generator na nagsusupply ng energy, pwede din silang gamitin ng National Grid Corporation of the Philippines para sa ating regulating reserves. As you know, in the Philippines, so we have private sector as the main driver of our energy sector. And because of that, we appreciate from the DOE what the private sector is doing. And what we're having today is a step towards achieving our goal of renewable energy at 35 percent by 2030. Uh, we are committed to making sure that we achieve sustainable development in terms of energy. Meron tayo ang secure, uh, available, and affordable energy for all Filipinos. Problems that we have here in the Philippines uh, uh, in terms of energy supply, in terms of energy costs, are one of uh, the biggest obstacles when we talk to potential investors to come to the Philippines. Isa ang Pilipinas sa mga bansa sa Asia na may pinakamahal na singil sa kuryente. Lalo pa itong nagmamahal sa mga panahong mataas ang demand gaya ngayong tag-init. Hindi rin kasi sigurado kung hanggang kailan tatagal ang mga pinagkukunan ng enerhiya. Ang San Miguel Corporation may solusyon. Kanina, inilunsad nito ang Battery Energy Storage System o BEST Network. Talagang power bank. Talagang power bank to. Tila isang napakalaking power bank itong best network. Sasaluhin ito ang sobrang kuryente mula sa mga planta. Tapos maaaring muling i-release ng power bank na ito yung naipong kuryente kapag tumaas ang demand. Ibig sabihin mas mababa ang tsansa na magkulang ang supply at sumipa ang presyo. This technology represents major step towards meeting our country's socio-economic goal sustainably. Ang kabuuang kapasidad ng best network sa buong bansa aabot daw sa isang libong megawatts pagsapit ng Desyembre. Higit ito sa kayang ibigay ng ilang pangunahing dam sa Luzon. Dahil dito, hinihikayat din ng San Miguel ang iba pang power player na magtayo ng kanilang best network para raw umabot sa limang libong megawatt ang maipoproduce nila. Once 5,000 megawatt is going, oh, ang laking tipid niyan. Baka tatlong piso per kilowatt hour ang baba niyan. Ang subsidiary ng SMC na San Miguel Global Power ang namamahala sa best network. Ito ang unang ganitong klasing facility sa bansa at isa sa pinakamalaki sa buong mundo. Makatutulong din daw ito sa kalikasan dahil wala raw itong carbon emissions, waste at noise pollution. Malaking bagay din daw ito sa mga hamong kinakaharap ng renewable energy sources gaya ng solar at wind power. Si Pangulong Marcos naman nangako sa San Miguel at iba pang power player na susuportahan ang mga ganitong proyekto. We will continue to be a partner with uh, you, uh, the government and the Filipino people as the as the immortal line has uh, as the immortal line goes iba na yung may pinagsamahan 
This is the San Miguel Corporation Global Power Battery Energy Storage System, a 1,000 megawatt commercially operated system that is spread out across 32 facilities around the nation of the Philippines. Short for BESS, it is becoming rapidly known for its astounding results in its contribution to helping the Philippines transition from a non-renewable energy reliant country to a cleaner and better energy production nation. These 32 and counting facilities are positioned across the entire archipelago nation, from Luzon to Visayas and Mindanao. The entrance of San Miguel's venture into these battery-emitting systems is when they had gone on to acquire in 2018 their first 10-megawatt Masinlock battery system of the Masinlock power plant from American-based AES Corporation, who had introduced the first-ever battery storage facility within the Philippines. A notable and grand breakthrough as it was also one of Southeast Asia's first evers. This venture of San Miguel enabled them to enter this ever-growing importance in battery storage technologies, which has helped them to also enter one of Asia's largest operators of such technologies in terms of installed capacities. What San Miguel and Masinlock BESS is committed to do is that their battery storage facilities are claimed to have zero emissions, which will help reduce environmental impacts, maximum uptime, which will reduce delays, improvement of energy efficiency, a crucial factor in helping reduce wasted energy potential in the future, and frankly, a lot more since these battery facilities will play a crucial role in the coming future of powering the nation. Their connections have also helped them push to become a national phenomenon of battery storage providers by that we mean if they had gone on to partner with international firms in order to make this mega project a success. Signing with Finland-based Wartzilla Corporation to construct the 200 megawatt integrated renewable power hub Toledo and the 40 megawatt BCP in Lamey, Bataan. Further, they had also partnered across more multinational-based firms from ABB. As per San Miguel's official reports, they had allotted over 124 billion pesos in 2021 to construct these battery energy facilities and new power plants. Anyway, what do you think?